What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it is finally time to start capturing legendary Pokemon. And yeah, you can hear the excitement in my voice. Oh, God, it's going to be a long one. Now, some of these legendary Pokemon are a little difficult to catch because of the timing and all that stuff. So, I didn't exactly plan which legendary Pokemon to capture first, so let's just leave it up to fate right here. And then eventually you'll see it right here on the description who we captured. I mean, we could have gone and captured uh, Latias, because I do have the Eon ticket. But I kind of need to go to the Mirage spots first. So let's see, what spots are open first? As you can see, we can fly Latios wherever we want. And, well, let's see, what place is this? The Mirage Forest, that is not one of the places that we need to go. Uh, usually you'll find a legendary Pokemon right here somewhere, and I think we will be able to find one right here somewhere. Let's see, the Mirage Cave, the Crescent Isle. Okay, so, let's go right ahead. In this episode, we're going to be capturing Lunora? Lunala? Lunala? Something. Uh, you know, that legendary Pokemon from Sinnoh. Yeah, it's been a while, guys, since I've actually played games and all that crud personal business and all that stuff so before we do anything let's go right ahead and as you can see the area is filled with a calm atmosphere okay so that's how it starts and well as you can probably already tell well you guys can't tell but I did soup up a few Pokemon that I will be needing like Sir Razor and Tank mainly for you know a little bit of coverage and all that stuff and uh, well you can think of this as my capture uh, my Pokemon capture team right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna save this game because uh, yeah we're gonna capture these guys the legal way yeah the legal way oh god I wish there was like a buttload of Master Balls just to capture these guys but you guys prefer me to do it the right way. So as you can see, there is a circle right there, but there is an item right here. And this, we found ourselves a Stardust, which is actually nice. Okay. Maximum effort. So you'll see a ring just like this going into something else. You click it. The mysterious ring is floating in the air. Something is visible deep in the hole. Would you like to put your hand in deep in the hole? Giggity. Yes. So here it is, guys, our very, 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 very first battle against one of these ring Pokemon, Cresselia. Okay, so let's go, Sir Razor. As you can see, it's at level 55, and I am going to put this guy to sleep because I can. And this guy has a Roar Beam? Holy crap, Baskets. So already I'm screwing up. Let's put this guy to sleep. Okay. Alrighty. Maximum effort right here. Most of these Pokemon are at level 50, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm actually just going to cut them down. Well, I'm going to I'm going to put them down with uh, the attack or with their HP right here. Again, most of these Pokemon are a little difficult to actually beat. As you can see, it does have some pretty good points right there. Uh, that is not going to work, so let's go straight to tank. I didn't power up most of these Pokemon all the way up to like level 60s or anything because I knew it was something, uh, something like this was going to happen where there's going to be level 50 Pokemon. Now, tank right here is basically my tank Pokemon. He is going to take whatever attack they give him and from there I'm just going to be using Body Slam just to either paralyze him or just to hurt him a little bit. And here comes that Body Slam attack. And, uh, wow, it takes a nice chunk out of its HP. So, now, yeah, we gotta, yeah, we gotta switch it up right here. So, there's gonna be a lot of switching back and forth and all that stuff, guys. I know, but this is the way, this is the way the game's going to be. And, well, Cresselia woke up and it's using Mist. So, now, we can't exactly do anything about it until five turns have been done. So, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna use Razor Leaf. And here comes a slash attack. Good gravy. Okay. Here comes Razor Leaf. And nearly takes out this Pokemon right here. Um, well, you know what? We're going to use Slam again because it didn't really do anything to this Pokemon. And, well, there we go. Come on. Stay there. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I nearly fainted. Okay, so we're going to try... Actually... We're going to try and tank the whatever move it, it gives us. So let's go straight to Hydra number two. That way it can take that uh, that future side attack. And of course its miss is going to be worn off too. So yeah, that's something else. Its attack is going to be... Oh wow, it just protects him from that. Here comes a slash attack from Cresselia. 
Shelly, you're, 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 you're you're being mean in one. So, so while, while, while this is going on, I'm going to start using some uh, timer balls right here. Of course, I did buy I did buy a buttload of uh, Pokeballs right here just for this occasion. And, well, here we go. Come on, timer ball. Work for me, please, baby. And uh, crud baskets. Okay, so that's one. Here's a miss. We took the future side attack. That is not so affected. And, yes, now it can't... It can't be protected by uh, well, by its missed attack right there. So we're going to try and risk it right here. We're going to switch out with uh, Sir Razor. I'm pretty sure Cresselli is going to try and use Mist again just to protect itself. Alrighty, And here comes a future side attack. So that's one. Now we're going to try and uh, put this guy to sleep. Come on. Here oh, crap baskets. Ooh, and that did not work perfectly. Okay, so... Alright, we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with... Let's go with Hydra again. Oh, God. So, as you guys already know, I, I just don't like capturing legendary Pokemon. Just for this reason right here, because it's like, it's so hard. And in this game right here, Pokemon Oraz, there are just a buttload of... Yeah, there are a buttload of... Uh, legendary Pokemon. It's not just one, not the main game ones, it's 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 a lot. They, like, Nintendo really did a lot to just, uh, well, they did a buttload just to uh, make, make make this game perfect and all that stuff, and I don't have a Max Revive? Seriously? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so, let's go with the uh, Revive. Alright, come on, Sir Razor. Wake up. And here comes a Slash attack, we're, of course, going to be taking some hits. And there's that future side attack going up against our Hydra number two. And, well, let's see. Well, I guess, let's see, I could heal my Pokemon one more time. That way I could tank a, it could tank another, uh, what was it, Aurora Beam right here. So here we go, Sir Razor, get yourself healed up. And here comes that Aurora Beam. At this point, I'm probably going to just, like, let Hydra take a, uh, take a faint right here. That way I don't waste a turn. So, here we go. Timer ball. Let's go. Come on, baby. Stay in that ball. Stay in that Pokeball. One, two, and three. Oh, my God. I thought I caught this Pokeball. Pokemon, I should say. And look at that. It's using its missed attack again. So, what we're going to do again is we're probably just going to be throwing some timer balls. So, right now I'm kind of getting an idea of what I should be doing in this this very instance right here going up against legendary Pokemon weaker than me. I probably should have taught uh, a Hydra number two uh, Thunder Wave just for this occasion. It's going to be tanking some attacks right here. So, come on. Stay in the ball. Be in the ball. Be the ball. Come on. One. Damn it. Damn you, Cresselia. Why are you so mean to me? Look at that. Critical hit. So we're going to be throwing some timer balls until quite possibly Hydra 2 just faints. Don't like don't like any of my Pokemon fainting, but this is all strategic just uh, for this instance right here. And it's trying to use Mist again. All right. So let's go. Come on, baby. Timer ball. Go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. One. Two. Damn it. See, that's what really irritates me. And here comes another future site. So now we're just gonna have to worry about that. There's the miss going away. Let's go ahead and use timer balls until you know our arms fall off and all that stuff. So there it is, timer ball. Go. And one. Damn it! Okay. You're really making me angry right here, Cresselia. Again, this is the reason why I don't like capturing legendary Pokemon. This is the reason why it took me this long to actually come out with the episode, the final episodes for Oraz. Uh, and uh, yes, we're taking another future side attack, and uh, this does it right here. So goodbye, Hydra, and let's go ahead and use Sir Razor right here now. Hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we can actually make this Pokemon go to sleep right here, make it easier. And uh, here comes the Aurora Beam. Hopefully, it is not super or not a critical hit. And of course, we're gonna miss. Good gravy! And here comes another Slash Attack. Cresselia, you are you are a mean, mean Pokemon for a peaceful one. And all right, so it is falling asleep right here. Okay, let's do this. Come on, come on. Timer ball, do me this favor, just, yeah, you know what to do. Damn it! 
Good God, this Pokemon is really pissing me off right now. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, you're really making me angry. So let's go ahead and do this again. Timer ball. Stay in the stay in the ball. Come on. Please. Be cool. Be cool. One, two, three. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn. You suck, man. Legendary Pokemon capturing is so hard. So we gotta we gotta really make this work right here. Come on, timer ball. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. One. Damn it! Okay, so you're really pissing me off, and I'm probably gonna have to start using Ultra Balls right here. Alright, so here we go. Another Ultra Ball or a timer ball right here. Come on. Stay in the ball. One. Damn it! Okay, so timer balls are ridiculous, and it just woke up, so now it's just gonna make my Pokemon faint. So, at this point. I'm, yeah, it, there's no point in doing anything right here just because this Pokemon's gonna, like, slash me, like, right now. So, there goes Sir Razor. Oh, uh, God, I probably should have. Let's see, who's my next Pokemon? Yeah, I probably should have. Uh, crap, I, should, I probably should have gone with uh, a Pokemon that can paralyze this guy in contact. It's always my go to thing, so let's go ahead and just use Timer Balls until he makes all my Pokemon faint. That's probably not gonna be a lot, so here we go. Stay in the ball, come on, stay in the ball. Be cool. Ah, God damn it! See, he's not cool at all, and here comes an Aurora Beam. I could have I, I put this Pokemon to, like, I could have frozen this guy. Alright, here we go. Timer Ball. Come on, baby. Stay in there. One. Damn it! Cresselia, you are an a-hole. A pink a-hole. With nice blend of colors and all that crud. Okay, here we go. Ultra Ball, or no, not Ultra Ball, Timer Ball. Come on. Come on. I know that I've done this before. God dang it! Oh, jeez. Okay, so here comes another Aurora Beam. It's really not doing much to my tank right here. So let's go right ahead and do it again. Timer Ball, come on, baby. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Stay, 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 stay. Come on. Oh, <laughs> you suck. Okay. And here comes a future side attack. So we're going to try and... Uh, come on. We're going to do this again. I, I think I used my... Did I use my Master Ball on somebody? Oh, yeah. I did use it on Deoxys. Okay. So that was the case right there because I kind of made it faint on the first attack against Rayquaza. So... Yeah, that was probably the best, uh, best, best uh, source of uh, of action. If you guys know what I'm talking about, right here. So here we go, another timer ball. Stay in there, stay in there. Come on, stay in there. And good gravy, this Pokemon right here is not making it easy. Of course, we're gonna take another future side attack. Come on, come on, man. Don't make it use. Don't make us use the whole lot of timer balls. Come on, one. Damn it! Freaking Cresselia. And yes, another future sight right here. Oh god, okay. So let's go. Timer ball. Stay in the ball, man. Come on. Be cool. Be cool. Come on. One, two, three. It. Yes! You see, guys, persistence always works. Alrighty, so look at that. We got ourselves a Cresselia. First legendary Pokemon caught. Oh god. Okay, so here it is guys, Cresselia, the lunar Pokemon. It's a female, obviously. And it is it stands at four feet eleven inches, 188 pounds of pure beautifulness muscle. Shiny particles are released from its wings like like a veil. It is said to represent the crescent moon. That is true. Okay, so we are not going to nickname you, we're just gonna put you in the box. And that is that for this location. So that is uh, part one of our many uh, Pokemon captures and all that stuff. A lot of our captures are going to be time-based, guys. Uh, another thing, too, do not know what order I'm going to come out with all these videos. I'm, I'm being serious, guys. I don't know what uh, uh, I don't know what order I'm going to be coming out with these videos, but it looks like to me that there's going to be a lot to do. I'm pretty sure the next one is going to be right here, the Nameless Cavern. Because, uh, well, there's another legendary Pokemon that we need to capture right there. So, uh, yeah. So, again, thank you guys again for watching this episode. Thank you guys for, like, you know, uh, bearing with me with this whole legendary Pokemon run and all that stuff. Yeah.
we're, we're coming to a close onto this Pokemon Aura as walkthrough here. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.